Hi everyone, we're gonna make melon pan today. The recipe is from Cooking with Dog on YouTube and everything will be in the bottom bar. Hope you guys like it. Mix the egg with the warm water and try to stir it. I did one and a half portion of the recipe so it's gonna be more than usual. And then just add the sugar and salt, dry active yeast, and the egg water mixture into the flour. I also have custard powder in the flour to just make everything taste better. And just use a spatula and try, and try to form it into a dough. After the dough started to form, just use your hands to knead the dough. Just gently apply pressure to the dough. You can use your own techniques or just use these techniques I'm showing here. I got this recipe from Cooking with Dog on YouTube. This is my third time doing this recipe. It tastes really good. You guys should definitely try it out. It may seem that there's a lot of steps, but it's pretty easy to do. After a couple minutes of kneading the dough, just add the butter into the dough. Just try to make a hole inside and just try to incorporate the butter into the dough. After adding the butter, the dough will start to be really soft. And it will be really easy to knead. It is normal that the butter will just come out like that, but if you just knead it, it will be a regular dough afterwards like that. You just need time to incorporate the butter into the dough. I really enjoy kneading the dough. It gives me exercise and I have fun doing it. I always have to do a voiceover video because my sister is just screaming and my background is really noisy. After 5 minutes or so, the dough will start to form to a nice and round surface and you will start to see that there's white spots on the dough showing here to test that the dough the dough is like fully kneaded and it's good to go another way to see it is by cutting a slice off showing here and you just kind of try to how you say it um try to thin it out and you will see that there's a thin film and it's really, and you apply a little pressure to it, it won't break. Then you will know it, it's good to go. And just reshape the dough into a nice and round ball.
put the dough in a bowl and cover it with a plastic wrap and let it sit in a warm place for fermentation. I just microwave a bowl of water in the microwave and just put the dough with the plastic wrap on and let it sit for 40 minutes. So for the cookie dough, I have room temperature here. Just whisk the room temperature with sugar until it's smooth and fluffy. And just gradually add the egg mixture to the butter mixture. You want to do it slowly because you want the eggs to combine with the butter and not separate. So after all the egg is added to the butter, just pour in the flour into the batter. And just mix everything together. After everything is mixed, you should have something like a consistency of a cookie dough and you're able to form it into a big dough. And just shape the cookie dough into like a long cylinder shape so it will be easier to cut later. And just put it in the fridge to freeze. So the dough is ready after 40 minutes. You can test out the dough if it's ready to use by just using this technique shown in the video. And just pound the air bubbles out. Just try to get the dough out onto a working surface. And I'm gonna flatten the dough to get any air bubbles or gas in the dough. And just cut it into equal parts. As I say earlier, I'm doing one and a half portion and I'm making small ones. So I'm gonna have 15 small ones. If you want, you can do it any size you want. Big, small, tiny. I did them really tiny. They're cute and easier to eat. Okay, after all, I'm gonna roll up the dough like shown here. Just make it into a nice round ball, nice surface. And just let it sit in room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes. Cover it with the plastic wrap. You don't want to get the surface hard. So for the cookie dough preparation, just roll it onto, uh, into a ball and put it under two plastic wraps and just make, try to make it into a circle. I just use like this thing to just press it into a circle. And I'm showing you to do it the second time. Just press it into a circle, nice round circle. There you go. So after 15 minutes, try to release all the air bubbles inside and reform it into a big round circle.
make me small. <laughs> And using the cookie dough we have prepped at first and just put it on the top and just try to form it onto the dough and using a knife or anything just cut diagonals on there to make it look pretty to make it like a bun so after after all 15 are done, use a plastic wrap and put on the top of the auto bun and we're ready for a second fermentation. Using the trick I used at first, the microwave trick, and let it sit in the warm place for 40 minutes again. I'm trying to lift the sill pad carefully and the buns without dropping everything onto the ground and my work is wasted but thank god I made it I'm trying to fix the water inside a microwave I preheat the oven to 340 second fermentation is done bake it for 12 minutes in a 340 oven Look at my 15 babies. They look so cute. And they're out of the oven. I was too greedy and put everything on the same mat. And guess what? They're too close to each other. They're ugly now. Although they're ugly, but they do taste really good. Fresh buns are the best. Thank you for watching my long video and please subscribe and leave a comment and tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Have fun baking!